I'm Stor Start. I'm a novelist and game designer, and the founder of Silver Sigil Entertainment. Uh, Red Cap is a book about gnomes. A lot of it is based on discovering who you are. Uh, so we have one of the main characters is a 14-year-old girl who basically her role in life is going to be to get married and to be one of the people who watches over her village. And she doesn't want to do that. She wants to go out and explore the wide world. So she runs away from her suitor and ends up becoming apprentice to a wizard. Uh, another character is a mercenary who, while drunk, ends up getting into a fight and has to flee into exile. Geralicus counted himself as an average fighter at best, with only two silver sigils proclaiming his mediocre training. His opponents, however, were a cap full of gold. Geraldicus couldn't help but count them all out as he was outfitted. Gold sigil of the sword, gold sigil of the spear, gold sigil of the shield, the pike, the lance, the mace, the flail. If it could be used to kill, this gnome had mastered it. Two to three sigils per gold ring set around a cap as black as midnight. A lord's cap. The characters are the most important part. Once they're in place, everything hinges on them, and I won't necessarily change anything anymore. Uh, when I start a book, I know the beginning and I know the end. In the middle is this big mystery. I usually throw out the first plot idea I get, and that makes it even more unexpected what will happen for both me and the reader. Um, I generally write out the big important scenes first and I leave all the connecting scenes for later because they can happen any way I want. Uh, they don't necessarily change the story, but they make the story really interesting. Um, what I did when I was in high school and middle school, I started trying to write novels and I could never finish them. But what I found is I was ending up with short stories and really interesting characters. Uh, and that's how I train myself is on short stories because you have a beginning, a middle and an end and you come up with cool plot ideas that can be expanded upon or characters that can be used elsewhere. But it's basically just exploring your imagination. Um, spending a lot of time daydreaming and then when you write things down it solidifies and brings out all the details you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. I remember when I came home from kindergarten and my dad had bought a computer and he was sitting there playing a strategy game and I would watch him play for hours and ask questions. And that's where I learned how to learn. And that's where I learned how to dive into something and figure out how it works. And games have allowed me to explore places I never could have. And while creating a story as I go, and then reading stories allowed me to add new things to my imagination and visit new places and see how people think and how they react to things. Our society is definitely based on a lot of rules and we're told as kids you have to do things a certain way, you have to follow the rules, or but when you're older you can go do whatever you want. So by the time you're older you don't know how to do whatever you want. You think you have this certain path you have to go, you think you have to do things through established channels, and you aren't left with a lot of room to imagine new things. I'm writing a ton, I have about four more novels ready to be put in the final stages before publication and I'm always writing short stories.